In this video, we're going to take a look at the next three buttons on the toolbar. There's the Annotation Tools, the Picture-in-Picture -picture Tools, the Zoom Toolbar, and the Snapshot Tool. I'll start with the Annotation Tool. When you click here, you're going to be given a small menu with three options, Presenter Tools, Image Effects, and Annotation Tools. When you click and select each of those, it's going to bring up the respective toolbar. I'm going to go over all these tools in detail in later videos. I just want to show you here how you access them using this button. To close the tools, just click on the red X and it will close the toolbar. To reopen them, click again on the pen tool and select them. The next tool is the picture in picture, and I'll go over that in just a minute. Before I get to that, let me show you the zoom tool. So I've drawn a bit of annotation here on this image, and this is a live image under the camera. And I can zoom in using the zoom control here. I can click the plus or the minus button to zoom in or out, or I can click and drag the slider. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse, or the scroll function on our wireless pad to zoom in and out. If I want to take a picture of this, I just simply click the snapshot button, and that will take a picture of the screen and place it over here in my sidebar. You can see now I have a saved image, and I have it set to auto name, so it just names it with the date and the timestamp. The annotations are captured with the image when I take that snapshot. So there's this other tool here that I said I would go over, which is called the picture in picture tool. I'm going to close my toolbar first. When I click on the picture in picture tool, it's going to bring up my device options and ask me to select my video device for the picture in picture mode. Also, the checkbox for enable picture in picture mode is now checked. When we click this button, it did that. I'm going to select my Logitech webcam. And I recommend picking a small video size because you don't need a big video size when you're doing an inset picture in picture. You can then click Save. And now you'll show up, the second camera image will show up here as an additional window. If this is recorded as part of the main camera frame. So if I take a snapshot, I'll click my snapshot button again. Now in the snapshot you'll see there's a little picture of me in it. If I record as well, when I take my recording it's going to record the inset picture in picture as well as the main image. Let's say I want to make this image a little bit smaller or bigger. Well, I will click on my device options here. I can go to picture and picture settings, and I can drag this window to make it larger or smaller. I can also change which corner I want the picture and picture window to be anchored to. And then click save. Click save once again. And now I am up there in the corner. Turn picture in picture mode off, just click this button again. And then you'll see the image goes back to just a single camera. Alright, that's how you use the annotation toolbars, picture in picture tool, the zoom control, and the snapshot tool.